In these sections, we're going to look at evaluating and simplifying expressions. First off, expressions are mathematical statements that do not have an equal sign. If there's an equal sign, we call those things equations. Expressions are things that we can find the value of and simplify. A common mistake that people make is they tend to say we solve the expression. Solving isn't the right word that goes with expressions. We simplify, we evaluate. So along with this idea, we have to make sure that we understand the order of operations. And there's the acronym PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, that we can use. These red letters over here, P-E-M-D-A-S. And they, those letters stand for parentheses or other grouping symbols, things that group parts of the expression together. So they could be round parentheses like that, or square brackets, or squiggly brackets, or anything that groups our mathematical statements together. Then we have exponents, those get done next. And then, even though it says m then d, multiply, divide, we actually do those two operations together, and we do them from left to right. And same with addition and subtraction. We do addition and subtraction in order as they show up in the problem from left to right. So there's our order of operations. We're going to be using this order of operations in a number of our examples today, actually in all of our examples today. The last thing we talk about before we dive into the examples is something called a power. And three, big three with a little four, big three, little four, this whole thing is called a power. And the power is consi it consists of two different pieces. It consists of a base, which is the 3. The 3 is what we call the base. It's the big number. And the 4 is what we call the exponent. And powers are another way of writing multiplication. What this power tells us is that we're going to take the number 3, the base, and we're going to multiply by itself four times. So this exponent tells us how many times we take this number times itself. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81. It's a shorter way of writing multiplication. So here we go. Let's get into some examples. Here's our first expression that we're going to simplify. We're going to evaluate. The difference between simplify and evaluate is evaluate is usually used to tell us that we need to find a numeric value for this expression. So in this one, we're going to follow the order of operations. I want you to pause the video right now and attempt to follow the order of operations. Once you think you have an answer, whether it's a fraction or not, I want you to restart the video and see how you did. Okay, so first, grouping symbols. Are there any kinds of parentheses sitting in this problem? No, there's not. Now we move on to exponents, and we do see that we have a power here. We have an exponent. We have 3 squared. So what is 3 squared? 3 squared means, remember, what does that mean, 3 squared? That means take the number 3 and multiply by itself twice. So 3 times 3, which is 9. So this problem becomes 27 divided by 9 times 2 minus 3. And as you're doing these, until you become really good, do one thing at a time. There's no more exponents, so now we move to division and multiplication multiplication and division in order from left to right. So do we have multiplication? Yes. Do we have division? Yes. As we move from the left over here through the problem, what, which one of those comes first? It's the division. So we're going to do 27 divided by 9, which is 3. And then we still have the times 2 minus 3. We haven't done anything with that part of the problem. Now, 
we have what what operations do we have now? We have multiplication and we have subtraction. What has to be done first? The multiplication. So we do three times two, which is six. We have minus three, six minus three is three. There's our simplified answer. Next example. Again, I want you to pause the video and try to evaluate this expression before you see and hear me work through it. So in this problem we have multiple grouping symbols. We have parentheses and square brackets and with a situation like this we start on the innermost grouping symbols because these square ones say okay let's do what's inside these square brackets. But inside the square brackets we have more parentheses so what we have to do first is whatever's inside these parentheses on the inside of the problem, and 8 plus 13 is 21. And now we have 30 minus 21, and this 2 outside really means 2 times 30 minus 21. Okay, so what next? Well, we still have grouping symbols. So we have to do what is inside the grouping symbols first. We have multiplication. We have this multiplication dot right here, but we have to deal with whatever's inside the grouping symbols first. And 30 minus 21 is 9. We still have 2 times 9, and 2 times 9 is 18. There's our finished value. There's our evaluated expression. Example 3, now we're going to evaluate some expressions and use the order of operations in that. So in this example, we're going to evaluate this expression when x is 2 and y is 4. In this expression, we have two variables. We have an x, we have a y. And we're told values for each one of these. So the way that I start to do these when I have to evaluate them is I'm going to rewrite the expression, except wherever there was a value that I know a number 4 I'm going to put empty parentheses. x is equal to 2. That means x is the same as 2. So I can put where x was, I can put 2. And it says that y is equal to 4. So where it says y, I can write 4. Equals means the same as. And now I use my order of operations. I have multiplication. 2 right next to the parentheses means 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 3 times 4 is 12. And now 4 plus 12 is 16. So our last example. Using everything that we've talked about in the other three, I would like you to pause this video and come up with the answer to this question and you, you're not going to be able to move on until you do select an answer for this. So let's give this a go. So where it says x, we are going to replace it with a 4, except before I do that, wherever there was an x, I'm going to put an empty bucket. I'm going to put empty parentheses so that I can put my number there. And it says that x is equal to 4, that's what I'm going to put into each one of these empties. And now I'm going to simplify. So let's start with the big grouping symbols on the bottom here. We have 9 times 4 on the top. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to rewrite it as 9 times 4 that way. On the bottom, inside the bigger grouping symbols, we have 4 plus 2, which is 6. Now, the fraction bar is actually a grouping symbol also. It's grouping the stuff on the top and the stuff on the bottom. What we really have here are sets of parentheses around the top and sets of parentheses around the bottom. We have to do those two things separately. 9 times 4 is 36. 3 times 6 is 18. And 36 divided by 18 is 2. And there is the answer you should have arrived at. And now you should have many tools to try a lot of these problems. You get better at this by doing lots and lots of practice. And I hope that you all have a wonderful time doing it.